What's the name, sir? What's your name? My name is Carman. Carman? Carman. No, Quentin. Quentin? Yeah, Quentin, yes. Quentin. Okay. Quentin, how old are you? Uh, 50. 50? Where are you calling me from, Quentin? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. Douglasville. A ATL. Um, yes. Do you have any kids? Uh, yes. How many kids? Uh, about 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have 15 kids? Yes, Bring yeah. the cam camera down a little bit so I can see your full face. But how many women? Uh, uh, 11. 11 women. Yes. Nasty work. 15 kids by 11 women, 11 broken homes. Mm. This gentleman mm. is responsible for it. It might be even more. I, I venture to say it's more. He said by 15. That's, that's reckless. You just reckless. You don't know what you, you just, this is the Douglasville farmer. You just planting seed everywhere. Just reckless throwing seed this is ridiculous man come on fellas 15 15 by one woman is is, is nasty it's it's crazy not nasty work but it's crazy it's just damn you've been you was playing a lot but 11 women 11 it's ridiculous bro it's ridiculous and this, what type sad. of quality of these women like i mean nah. i think we could surmise the quality of women by the brother we speaking to like oh, mm. oh my god 15 15 so oh. Kendra's about to ask him how like what's the ages and bro is about to struggle so oh. 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 How, give me all the kids ages all of them all the nah, ages nah, nah, nah. she said all of them uh, my older one is 36. I need all, all 15 All ages. of them. Damn, <laughs> man. Come 36. On, man. 36. 34. Yeah. He got twins, 32. I um, got a lot of them, baby. They're mine. Lil Twan, he, he 29. Yeah. Then he got Lil a little set of twins that's 27. Um. Uh, Oh, damn. Uh, by me telling you this and uh, giving you all the ages and all that, it's like I'm... I'm well, I, I asked everybody, okay. bring the camera down. I have to get okay. all the ages because that's how we... From there, we see how close... And you told me 11 women already, right? Yes. So we, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven so far. So there's... Uh, and I it, guess, it, it, it's oh, two more sets of twins. What's that? We got 24. We got 24. So then. Out of each of these women, I got God, four by one. Struggle. Woman, three by the other one. Just, 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 I mean, just finish the count. Just finish yeah, the count. Bro. Uh, so you had the 24-year-old, like right? Oh, oh, okay. Well, okay. What's the youngest? What's the youngest child? The youngest, 20, the youngest 22. Yeah. 22. Okay. Yeah. So you have 15 kids by 11 women. Yes. Have you ever been married, Quentin? Yes. How many, many times? One. One. So 11 women and you only married one? Yes. So Quentin, just, I mean, 11 women brought your child or children into this world. You couldn't settle down with any of those 11 women? That's good. I'm I'm in a new place in life now, ma'am. I don't want to explain myself about my past life. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a new place in life right now. You went, where the place in life you at right now? I mean, I, I'm a changed man. I mean, and I want to go back and I was a gigolo, a uh, pimp player and all that right there. Then, I mean, player. I'm a change, so I'm not trying to talk about the past. You know oh, you was a, everybody got a past were, life. Oh, you was a, once a gigolo? I mean, everybody got a pad life, baby. You feel me? Well, we're just trying to understand. So, you were once a gigolo? I mean, your belly it all out, baby. Oh, oh, okay. 
Thank you. Quinn, what do you do now? What's your job? Uh, uh, I fix cars, sell cars. Fix cars, uh, sells cars? Make sure I claim, mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. We true. got a big shop. So you fix cars, sells cars, insurance claims? Do do insurance claims. You know, I got a lot of, I got a lot of jobs, baby. I, uh, got fresh washing business, landscaping business. I'm entrepreneur. entrepreneur. You're what, honey? Entrepreneur. 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 Okay. Intra. <laughs> Quinn. Quinn. No, no, Quinn. Quinn, what's your zodiac sign? It don't oh, matter. Answer. Now, well, this is Quinn. Society. He's 50 years old. He's in the ATL. They had a 15 kids by 11 women, married once. The one woman that you did <clears> marry, <throat> does she have one of your children? Child? Yes. Yeah. Child. Yeah, she got two of them. She got two of them. Okay. Um, he had a pass. He won't talk about the pass. But now he fixes cars, he sells insurance, and does insurance claims. Um, uh, what kind of women are you looking for, Quentin? Oh, Jesus. At this point, it don't matter. It really don't. It it don't that's matter. irrelevant. Like because Quentin Quentin was out here from the late eighties to the early two thousands. Nine wow. nine taking over for the two thousand. He slinging. was out here slinging, spreading, reckless seed spreading. <sighs> he had his first child when he was about 14 years old. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the God. last one was like at 28. Oh, my God, yo. This is... <laughs> They're going to break me, man. They're going to break me. I can't. That's just reckless. Brother, you need to get yourself... I hope brothers familiar with them clinics and all that like i don't know he don't look too good of health 50 he looks 70. Like, that yeah. brother he was doing a lot the douglasville farmer who knows what kind of encounters he didn't had like right please with all them strippers ladies, and, and, and ladies, ladies of ladies. Repute right desperate in the 80s, desperation 90s. service he probably was doing yeah. a lot of uh Business for service, if you know what I mean. He fixing cars. Yeah, I put a carburetor up on there. Yeah, woo, yeah woo, 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 woo. we smacking yeah. for some pud. I he tune, oh, man. I tune your spark plugs. I had that car, mm. a pearl and kitty, mm, you know, mm, and mm, just mm, give mm. me some cat, mm, 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 you know, as payment, you know, mm, some Michelob cigarettes and some cat. He had your car <laughs> running factory new, <laughs> but you're gonna have a baby, right? But you know. Is he fertile? Yeah, and his his fertility, oh, his little swimmers are swimming great. Like you, you gonna They're have great. to be like scientifically impossible to be impregnated, or you will you will be impregnated by this guy. Those, even if no, you, they swim, they good. Even swimmers. if you Gross. didn't have a uterus, fallopian tube, or uh, ovaries, you might still want to go get checked to make yes. sure you're not pregnant. Yes. <laughs> yes encountering this dude hell kendra might need to take a test just being on the phone with this brother right you might want to go get tested real quick and we know she's 57 years old but just make sure is this guy you fertile jeez and Christ. let me just say this before we continue this should be a public service announcement if anybody is living in the Douglasville area uh atlanta area and you between the ages of 36 and 22, and Move. you don't know who your father is, Move. you might need to be reaching out to Quentin and seeing if, if he knew your mama back in the 80s and the 90s. In the and, don't and don't date. And don't date nobody from that anybody area. Anybody in Douglasville. Because he might incest. just... He, he might, might be accidentally <laughs> incestuous. Right. He might guy. be your daddy. Come on, He might man. be your daddy. So this is sad. Come this on, man. This 11. But you know, I just want to say this also because there is a narrative that black men are deadbeats and they have a bunch of kids and all of this. This man is like he's he's not the norm. Believe it or not, like you know, this we've been hearing this narrative that all black men are like this dude. No, he's abnormal in a sense. Like 
Yeah, because ma majority of black men are childless. It's right. these type of men that they're giving multiple babies to. The numbers, they fuck the numbers up. Right, he, he messed the numbers, the numbers up. Mm -hmm. They're running up the numbers to make to skew the stats. Him, you know, mm -hmm. you know the likes, Future and Young Boy and and Nick all Nick Cannon, them, Nick Cannon and all them thirty. Yeah, they mess it up. They yeah. make it seem like black men are out here just having all these babies. No, it's a few. If yeah. they're not the majority, is what I'm trying to say. You can go so. pull up the stats. Stats show otherwise. It's their loud minority. Like when you throw yes. up 20, 15, 20, 25 kids and all that, like they're they're producing or reproducing at the rate of three to four men might have yes. 15 kids. He's got yes. one person with 15 kids. And all yes. the others we named, like they're they're reproducing at a higher rate. So they're black, it's going to you're going to fit in. You could be a black man with no kids, but it'll be like yeah. the two of y'all got 15 kids. No, it's just him. Now, no. I don't have none. He's got 30. Like, we don't have 15 yeah. each. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it, it's going to mess up the percentages when these cats reproduce at these alarming rates like this. Like, And who's laying down with this? Okay, I'm not trying to shift blame, but after... Brother seemed like he honest after he said he got eight, nine, ten kids. Who's still laying down with this cat? Right. Like, right. That's why we got to ask, what type of women is his baby mamas? Because crazy. once a dude said he got so many kids, I'm um, excuse me, sir, what you doing over here? Really? Like, <laughs> you got how really? many baby mamas? And it ain't enough time in a year to be a, <laughs> right. in, 15, in 11, 10, 11 households at one time you can't no. and you can't unless you can't. you're doing some real project babies they all live in tech woods or the, whatever the hell the project <laughs> is and you can just go from building to building to building to build that's right. crazy this is this is crazy okay no no way around it like yeah yeah let's continue nasty work i'm gonna live with somebody who died or you know they're listening that we will build hurt. from the young communication Bill what, so. what? <laughs> Everybody don't got communication skills no more. Everybody what? Don't have communication skills. Nobody has communication skills. Okay, Quinn, now I'm going to have you respond to this because you are a dad to 15. Are you involved in their lives? Yes, yes I am. So what, I got what most of my kids on what I'm on. Say what? One of, my, one of my sons got a car lot. One of your sons has a car one. lot. All my kids doing well. I got them on what I'm on. You have all your kids on what you're on. Yeah, business, you know. Business. Business. Have your own business. business you, know, do, you know. Stand on one business. One of my sons sell cars just like I do. Buy and sell cars. Uh, uh, one of my daughters is a dentist. You know, so, you know, you know I took oh, care of wow. And the rest are mechanics. I took care of all my kids. So what would you say to a woman that's concerned that you have 15 kids? I mean, what the thing about it? My kids grown. And, and when I meet her, she got to meet my kids anyway. But they go, they go to turn it off. My kids represent me. She's going to meet all your kids? All. Yeah, they're, they're mandatory, especially my girls. Okay. Yeah, okay. They're mandatory. What's some deal breakers and the type of woman you looking for? Uh, uh, what you don't like? I mean, control? I just don't want to stand that really just, you know what I'm saying? They want to have a good. Good time, that, you know, that want something in life. You know what I'm saying? You want a friend yeah, that wants something in life. That, that want something in life. You know, somebody to guide them, to guide me. We can help each other. You know, we need somebody to grow with. I need somebody to grow with. Grow what? You know what I'm saying? I look out with many people and everybody, you know, got the wrong intentions. You know what I'm saying? They're usually this way, play that way, take your heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good hearted person. He's looking for a reciprocation. Reciprocation. Oh, looking for what? Reciprocation. <laughs> what? Reciprocation. Yeah. Okay, bring reciprocation? the phone down, Quinn. Bring the phone down. Okay. So you he looking for what? Reciprocation. <laughs> Resuscitation? He, he dying? You he want to bring like it he, up? He, he looked like he needed resuscitation. He damn sure do. He said his daughter was a dentist. Well, yeah. well, you ain't brother, go have a visit. You no know family discount. The goddamn brother got more kids than teeth. 
I'm done. That's it. That's it for me. You know, like, come on, man. You know, you, if your daughter is a dentist, your grill cannot, you know, you know, oh, God, I'm just man. saying, it, it just goes oh, without saying. God. It just can't, sir. It just can't. You cannot sit up here and say, yo, be proud of your daughter is a dentist, but she ain't help your, your grill. Oh, God. This is all kind of wrong. So much wrong here. No, oh, please. And he want to build with a woman. I mean, let, I want. I just want to. I just want to give y'all a perspective. And I don't think now. Usually, I wouldn't say this, but with this gentleman, it, different rules apply here because this man got fifteen children. When he passes away, his all of his businesses is gonna have to be split. Mm. You know, amongst his heirs, he got 15 heirs. Mm. So what in this case, a woman can't build with him no. because if she come in and try to build something. OK, I'm your wife. And let's say we have two more kids. Me and my, our kids ain't going to get nothing. That's a fact. I mean, for, for rightfully so, it's going to go to everybody. You know, you, right. your widow, your other kids, but you got so many kids. Huh. Once we get to dividing everything up, there's nothing left. Yeah, it's nothing to, yeah, absolutely. You're right. You're absolutely right. <laughs> because he has so many kids. So yeah. I don't think it's beneficial for any woman to go over here and try to build with him. Yeah, amongst other things. Right. Because it's nothing, it's going to be nothing there for you. Correct. Like, <laughs> Build what for? And I'm not. I'm not saying. And I. I want to make sure that this is clear, because he has other heirs. I'm not saying a um, woman want to come in and take all his stuff or whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm saying when this man passes away, he's gonna have. He has so many heirs that it's gonna be <laughs> whatever he has, whatever empire whatever businesses whatever homes is going to be split up now different states it might be split up differently you know you got community property and things like that but some things are going to go to his children we're not talking about oh you know you married a man and he had four kids you know we, we split it up like that we talking about a man with 15 kids and you know when a, when a, when daddy died everybody come out the woodworks all the other kids might come out the woodworks as well. Right. And this is something that's not talked about a lot. It's true. Like, <laughs> like brother don't look like he in such a good health. No, he don't. He, he so does I not. Just, I just want to give y'all that perspective. Like, and then he might be looking for somebody <laughs> to, to, to take care of him. Not, I'm not talking financially. In his bad health. In the bad mm. health. Mm. Now you want to settle down. Like he did get married what, however long ago that was. But either she left you, you left her. I don't know what happened. But this seemed like one of those cases. Now you you be hearing it on the internet, the hospice. He looking for a hospice wife or whatever. I think this might be one of them cases. Now I don't usually agree with what these hyenas, modern women be saying. They only have a modicum of truth by, behind what they say. Everything else be, is outrageous because it's based on emotions and feelings and stuff like that. They don't use logic. But well. there is just a speck of truth. And then they, you know, they exaggerate on it and blow it out of proportion and stuff like that. So here's that one little speck of truth. Mm hmm. That, that's probably what that's, this dude is looking for. Somebody to take care of him in a health wise. He he said he got multiple businesses and he probably do got money. I'm not, I don't even think it's the financial part. He would be looking for help. And all of his kids are grown. So he ain't, you know, he ain't got to worry about child support. So that's why at the end of life, you want you, a woman coming in, going to have to worry about them other 15 kids in a sense of dividing up the 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 um resources mm. so it's just something to think about and hey if you want to do it you do it but it's just something to think about mm. 
He said a lot of women don't have good intentions. No, they be just using no everybody that like every relationship you meet somebody, everybody got the wrong. They don't know what they really want. He, know get, a, he, he get money, he pay money. That's all. Yeah, so, tricks. He, he pay money. He, he pay money. Tricking. Oh, he paid with the women money too fast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he paid with the women money too fast. When he meet a woman, he started helping her day two. Okay. So he, he lead out wrong, spending money. Okay. Lead it with his wallet. Are you done with that? I mean, nah, he still do that. I just look out for people, you know. He, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he just want a woman that he don't mind paying money. He just want a woman that ain't gonna just in it for the money. Okay. Yeah, you know, you gotta. I don't know, man. That's. I just want just a good friend communication, man. Just help somebody, man. Okay. And we can grow. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's real talk. Okay. Quentin. Yeah. Um. Um, should the woman look a certain way? Bring the camera down so we can see your face, Quinn. Uh -huh. Should the woman look, look a certain way? I mean, yeah, she got it. You know, she got it like a woman, a beautiful woman. She's not a care of herself. That's mandatory. Beautiful. You know, um, yeah, she, you know, not. <laughs> I mean, she's like she got, got a beautiful heart, my lady. And a beautiful mind, you know what I'm saying? Everybody needs guidance. Everybody needs someone to talk to. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about to look all the time. You know what I'm saying? You can be the beautiful motherfucker in the world. Got a fucked up ass every every day and every day. You know what I'm saying? Trying to make her ugly. Even though yeah, yeah man. You, you know, it's just real talk, man. I don't experience a lot of women in my life. I don't deal with a lot of fakeness. And, you know what I'm saying? If they ain't got God in them. I know where they got God in them. Come from your mouth, come from your heart, come from your walk, your talk. You know what I'm saying? Everybody scheme this way, everybody scheme that way. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know what they want. You know, I'm trying to, I, I'm going I'm to do my job again with God tell them. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, seek, you should find. Seek, you, know? you should find. Okay. okay. What about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? No, I know my job. She, you know what I'm saying? She he paid bills. I know my job. <laughs> so to the woman, does, does it matter nobody. to you how much the how, does it matter to you how much the woman makes? No, I don't. Okay. All right, Quinn. We gotta do the Kendra cam. That's when we see your full body. Okay. Thank you. You gotta step out. You gotta stand up. You gotta. Stand up. Hold on. I'm gonna turn around for him. No, you gotta. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to see you, sir. Ooh, okay, Quinn. Oh, all right, Quinn. We see you. We the Wait, put the car, put the put the camera on Quinn, oh. sir. All right. all right. So Quinn look like your everyday neighborhood mechanic. Just hanging he out look, at the gas station. He look like he do fix cars good though. Yeah, he fixed the shit out your car. You look like you know you don't want to take it into a service center. You take it to Quentin. Oh yeah, he fixed older That's model it. cars too. All that, all that. Like like a eighty eight Delta, right. a Delta eighty eight, a mm -hmm. a a box Chevy, mm -hmm. uh, Impala. Mm -hmm. He fixed all, all of them. He he know how to get them. Number one might be the number one uh, mechanic in Georgia. Uh, uh, Monte like Carlo. It. Michelob and some new ports. Yeah. All that. Factory new. <laughs> Shit running like it's brand new. <laughs> right. Man, <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> Lord have Quit. I can't. Mm. I can't. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> the, the, he he looked like he fixed cars good. All right, we see you, Quinn. All right, you got the gas, you got the gas station. Quit, keep the Where you think they're hanging out? Okay, okay, okay. What you trying to do? Ain't done talking to you. Think they're hanging out. All right, Quinn, we not done yet. We got some more questions. Yeah, we're gonna talk to. Um, Quinn, when was your last relationship? Uh, two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you had sex with someone? So you can answer. Oh, uh, uh, and a half ago. Mine and a half. Um, three flaws you have to work on. Three flaws to work on. Shit. Uh, Can he hear? 
man. I don't like nobody lying to me. I don't like lying to nobody. Oh, my flaws, I got to work on. Yeah, I can't leave the weed alone, so shit. Can't leave the weed alone. Can't what? Leave the weed in the cigarettes alone. I'm all right. You can't what, baby? Cigarettes and weed, Kendra. Oh, okay, bring the camera up, sir, cameraman. Okay, you can't leave the cigarettes alone. What else? You got two more flaws? Oh, uh, no, nah, I ain't got them all. I'm you, good. You, you don't, you don't have, you don't have, you don't, you don't have no more flaws, just cigarettes. No, I mean, uh, no flaw. What I would like about me? Things you gotta fix, work on, can be better at. Uh, no, I ain't got no more fun, man. I ain't got no fun. I'm None at good. all. I'm too good. So I don't like too good. I'm too good. I don't like people. You know what I'm saying? I just deal with them because I got a business. But I, don't like, I can tell you where you from. You talk to me. Or what comes from your mouth comes from your heart. You know, you know. Well, this, the, the, the one flaw is your final answer? You sure? You want to come up with two and more? He don't like no, I ain't people. Got no flaw, man. I just want a good friend. Man. That's all I want. Me. A good one, a good friend who can kick it, kick it, go out. You know what I'm saying? So Wait, why got... would a woman be lucky to be with you? I mean, go ahead, I'll pay him out. No, tell us what. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you, Quinn? Maybe we'll have a good time. You know what she want to do. We got to say she got structure in her life. We got to help, you know, we got to help each other out with structure. We try to build, you know. I like to build, man. I, I make things long guard of my life. I put it, I, you know. He take care of his women. I put it together, he, man. If she hit one, he going to take care of that, that That thing about it's it. Everybody. So you're 50 years old. What's the age range you want to date? Oh, uh, I say about forty. Forty to fifty. Yeah, forty. Yeah. Quinn, now this what? is Quinn. He's fifty. Quinn's fifty. He's in Atlanta. Dad of fifteen kids by eleven women. Married once. He fixed cars, does sales and insurance claims. Mm -hmm. Quinn, now are you on the Kendra G Singles dating app? Don't worry mm -hmm. about I it. I just turned him on to you today. Okay. So you got to set up his profile, sir. I will. I, I, I set it up for him. Okay, how do you spell Quentin? Uh, uh, Q-U-E-N-T-I-N, Quentin. Okay, so that's how his name will be spelled on the Kendra G Singles dating app. And I'm assuming you don't care if the woman has kids already, do you? No, nah, because, you know, I got to bed him, too. You got what, baby? Got to help him out, too. Help take her kids. Okay, take care of the kids. Okay. Well, um, no. okay. Well, Quinn, you keep me posted how it goes, honey. Download oh, the dating app and set up your profile. Save your megabytes. Well, so I like your little show too, man. My little I like your little show. show. I like it. Thank, thank I like you. I appreciate you liking you my little it. show, Quinn. He gonna, he gonna understand. He gonna be a highlight. <laughs> yeah, you keep, you, you doing a good job. Today. I, I received that. Thank I, you, Quinn. I'm on your show by four years ago. Sir, we don't okay, need to hear all that. We don't need all that. Mm -hmm. We don't need all that. Story. He, he ain't had luck. And I don't know why you put your uncle or whatever on there. For real. You ain't had no luck. You had bad time. <laughs> yeah. Barely got uh, up skin of your teeth. <laughs> right. And so we're going to quickly give our final thoughts on Mr. Quentin. More raggedy. It's, it's just more, just more raggedy. You know. The, the prospects ain't that good. This brother got 15 kids that he's claiming or that he knows about. <laughs> 11 baby mamas. I mean, brother look borderline like a head. You know what I mean? So, I, I don't know. I can't even explain. It, it always takes two to tango, but brother, oh, it's bad, man. That's just, it's just reckless. It's his time, whatever that little period he had or whatever, uh -huh. he was doing a lot. And the kids might be grown, but there are residual effects from yes. decision making and all that. Just, I don't think it's any reason to go over there. 
ladies, no. y'all can do what y'all want to do. But when you end up, you know, baby mama number 12, 13, 14, or whatever is the case, like, I don't even want to hear it. Like, it ain't even nothing to be said. Like, we give it to these women all the time. We say, you know, it's egregious. And when we talk about these amount of numbers, these high reproduction rates from these men, it's just as egregious, if not more. Like, I have no words. Like, it's, it's raggedy. Like, there's nothing else I could say. It's just raggedy. I'm done. Queen, give me your final thoughts. We can wrap this turkey up. Ladies, don't go over here. There's the, the resources. It's a question of resources. It's a question of bad decisions. And the dude that had community D. You don't know when the last time he been tested. He may not never been tested. He just been slinging it all over Atlanta. Don't go over there. Like I said, and then especially don't try to build nothing. Rarely will you hear me say this. But with this type of man, you can't. This is a waste of your time. And like I, uh, let me quickly say, he got 15 kids. Those are his heirs, rightfully so. Whatever, when he pass on those, you know, resources, those properties, the inheritance is going to go to them kids, rightfully so. When you build with him, the part of that is going. Hmm. His part going. It ain't going to come back to you and your kids if you have kids by him. It's going to be divided up amongst all of y'all. Yep. However, according to your state, there's yep. different inheritance laws per state. But that's something to think about. So build for what? Yep. He wasn't trying to build with any of these women younger in life. When he had less kids. when he More teeth. <laughs> more teeth, less kids. Younger, more more healthier, he wasn't trying to build. Hmm. All he he had built is broken homes. That's right. what he had built. Now he right. said that he took care of his kids and he wasn't a deadbeat, but this is still giving dead. I would say this is still giving deadbeat behavior because there's no way that you can be an active father in all of these children's lives. There's no way it's eleven households. It, just because he was giving money don't mean that he was being a father. Y'all nice. equate that he's financially responsible for the child with being a father. It's not the same. He it's wasn't in the it. household raising the children and imparting mm -hmm. all the fatherly knowledge yeah. and, and stuff yeah. into his children. He can't. He can't. There's no way. He got to work so many jobs. Men don't probably get an ounce of, of sleep. Right. Work on a lot of cars. So stay away from Quentin. That's my recommendation. Yes. Quentin need to go go to the doctor, get checked out. If it, yeah. Get his self. Get everything. Right. Get a, yeah, everything. Get a, yeah. get a full, full workup. Right. right. Get a full workup, sir. Definitely. You know. And then, yeah. but if you do need your car fixed, send it to Quentin. There you go. Right. If you need your car fixed, I I know that man can fix some some cars. I know it. Just make sure you pay him in money, not pay him PUD. In money. Right. Okay. No so, PUD payments. Just pay, pay cash. Pay cash. Cigarettes so. and Michelob. <laughs> Just no PUD. Right. My goodness. Okay. Guess that's gonna do it for the Douglasville farmer. You guys heard what we think. More importantly, we want to know what you guys think. So get down there in the comment section. Let us know if you agree, disagree. We were on base, off base. You know we are 360 degree thinkers on this platform. Free thought, always promoted, celebrated number one here. Uh, leave a like on your way out. Sub up if you so choose to. Don't forget, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we drop some more of these bangers. Uh, we thank everybody for coming out. We appreciate y'all. And uh, have a good night. Y'all be safe.